Good morning, collective. This is your morning daily vibe reading. Already, of course, shuffle and meditate on the cards. I just gotta get the mic. When I was doing the meditation, I was shuffling some cards, and some cards popped up, and then Spirit gave me messages for the collective. So I left. Let me just cover this a minute so the alarms don't go off. Diffuse it. So the message is, um, I'm going to do this before I give you the actual reading because it was important enough to come out during my meditation. Alright, so these are the cards that came out. So I'm going to kind of just spread them. And while it could be a reading all on its own, I'm sure. But So the first card that came up is the golden egg for t the collective today. Alright. And this golden egg is that there's messages inside of you. You are the golden egg. You are, during this transformation, you are the, um, you know, your spirit guides and spirit is working in you, um, rewriting your DNA codes for you to uh, have these new messages within you to deliver to the collective, to share with the universe, right? This is uh, about the message inside. It's time for introspection, clarity, um, being tender with yourself. This is also about the fourth chakra. But with this, I pulled these two cards. Okay, and then I'm going to read the rest of the thing. So in uh, 39 breaks to... 12, so it's a third, it's a three. Okay, and this is about transformation as well. Ergonomous. You can see that she's got like frog legs still occurring there. While everyone else is still the same. Not everyone, but those around her might be the same. Um, you know, everyone is different, of course. Some transform differently, but people are seeing this change taking place within you. And this one here is more about that transformation. This is the future. So this is where she's at here. And this is where you're going type energy. Okay. So I'm going to read this message first. <clears throat> so transformation process uh, occurs occurring daily. Rapid changes upon us. I'm going to try and show you that while I can read. Okay. Upon us. Not seeing behind, you're not seeing behind the scene changes going on, but they are there. Things are changing rapidly. Rapid changes are upon us, and that your transformation is process, a process that's going on daily. So you're transforming, you're having that soul rebirth, your DNA upgrades are coming through throughout the day as well as throughout your sleep. The future holds. <coughs> This one's about the future. The future holds for you what you have birthed. This new you transformed your consciousness awareness, the body, mind, and soul. Awareness of light body, awareness of your higher self and your present self, all three. And this card is a 33, which is divine number, but because of the three, this is where um, in the birthing, it's like she, this one's pregnant here too, pointing over here to there. But she's pregnant. She's birthing this, her higher self, this new her, the transformation, right? And no longer this one here is the exact same one as here. You can see the exact same person, but she's completing her transformation, right? And then, of course, her soul light body um, is here, not in the physical 3D form, but again, um, there are both dark or light entities all around you, spirits around you, um, watching your transformation as well. So, perception. So that's this one. So this is the ego card. Was the next one up? Okay, it's. 
and 16. This is number seven card. It's a um, bright challenges, the truth, target, uh, seeking truth, karma. It's about the karmic balances and transformed, right? You're transformed. But this is about um, his target, that little special uh, prize that he's got his eyes on, that egg that he's trying to capture right there and trying to hone in on that but so focused with those keen perception um, keenly just keeping their eye on that specific way of being because we think this is what it's going to look like well it might not look like that when you get to when you get close to the target it might not look like this it might look more like this okay so your target perception seeing one part of a situation regarding drama, gossip, perhaps trusted, perhaps you trusted too soon. They have to earn your trust back, change your perception. So this is about the target, and perhaps when you went into this relationship, this is number 55, it's about change. This is the uh, soul shrinker, and normally in this card it means about gossip and cursing someone, but also it means taking a look at your part in the gossip or cursing that occurred so perhaps there's things that you could have done differently or perhaps you could have um, corrected steps to prevent that occurring what is your part in the gossip or cursing that occurred regarding yourself or others so it's looking at yourself from a perception of what what part did you play in the situation type thing not to blame yourself by any means but to change your perception to change how you move forward okay and say um, if this was like uh, your divine counterpart and they were gossiping or causing drama perhaps you trusted them too soon perhaps you trusted them with your truth your gifts that you know that you were gifted with or I certainly would fall uh, prey to that situation. I opened up completely to my DM, um, and which was totally uh, not something I do as an Aquarius. <laughs> but um, they have to earn your trust back if they, when they come back to you as a changed person, even though they are a new per will be a new person to you because they will have gone through their change. You still need to allow them to earn your trust back change your perception speak from your higher self okay so then this card came out for this part it's again a number five so we have three fives on the board here okay and this um parrot you can see he's pointing to his throat chakra and both his here his little antennas pointing uh to me to the higher self to his crown chakra <clears throat> speak from your higher self change the uh, way you speak to others change the messages that you're giving to heal others as well as yourself through love and light and guidance for others and to speak from a higher self to see with your third eye and not your visual two eyes and you can see here even though he's a very happy um, to speak his truth to speak from his higher self and his eyes are real dark like so it's spirit was saying that to not use those two eyes see the light the good in all bad situations so look for in this situation like with the gossip or the drama or things look for the good that come out of it the lessons you learned and changed about yourself or someone else what good came of a bad situation what good came from the drama what good came from the gossip that occurred through these lessons and these triggers on your journey celebrate and that was this one going into this one and then this is an 11 card <coughs> the luna moon's daughter and i love this card I'm going to hold it real close because I want you to see, not focus on the beautiful maiden there, but on him as well and how cute he is down there. He's like an ugly cute. <laughs> He's got one blue eye. Can you see it? Oops. How's that? 
Okay, so he's goofy looking, right? And then I'll pull it back. Sorry, trying to watch the computer screen to see if it's in focus. Okay, so with this card I got, celebrate your transformation. Be joyful of your changes as um, they are coming in with your transformation. Allow uh, the information in the, your new gifts to flow, to stay present in your higher self, not to switch back to your old self. And see the beauty in all things. Don't be blind to changes. Um, and perhaps this blue eye, perhaps he, uh, this eye is blind to this, how beautiful he's transforming. There will always be shadows, so shine your bright, so shine bright enough to illuminate the shadows. So behind here, there's like this um, uh, alien-like looking dragon almost with an eyeball here. Not that you can see it because I can barely see it. I'll show it, but I think you probably have to have the deck yourself to see it. But there's like shadows back in here behind them watching. Right, and there will always be spirit says there will always be shadow energy in the background. So shine your light bright enough that it illuminates them so that we can bring that to light so that there is no lies or deceit behind the, in the shadows. And so be reminded to be playful and joyful. That's that card hanging on. So with this, this is reminding you, and you can see how her face is she still like got her um transformed because this again is her right so it's continuous um, but she's got like scars on her legs and her tails from where she used to be uh, this creature but she's transformed from this to this shining her light beautifully glowing right but she's very gleeful about her transformation and when you look at his face he's pretty happy about it too because he's seeing it with you know his third eye um, so he is smiling, but see the beauty in all things. Okay, this one is the otter, and of course it's number nine card near ending. Be joyful, playful, content in everything. You need nothing when you're the otter. This also is an Aquarian card. <clears throat> so Spirit said with this card, be playful and joyful, full of love, and grace the water elements embrace your emotions and the air element like your 5d when you're astro traveling and yet stay grounded to mother earth and be in nature more often <coughs> next was the penelope dreamweaver 910 card being in higher self uh, your magical embrace your magical essence with the energies around you your higher vibration knowing all are connected as energy we are all one so raise your vibration shine your light and share your light with others so here it's like she's uh, vibrating very highly she's glowing she's in her higher self and here she's got the light that in her energy she's sharing with others as a gift helping them to raise their vibration and to shine their light higher as well <clears throat> and number three card this is the, uh, the lucis the wild and to me this looks like um i mean just for myself before i go into the message it reminds me of weeds in the grass <laughs> um because this looks like a plant so um in the wild these you know because all things are living the plants are living uh creatures they are living energy the crystals are living energy we are living energy so we are all energy connected to one another everything we do affects the plants the crystals they everything we do with the plants affects the humans and the animals so this is all are connected play in nature be a little wild dream and manifest your wildest dreams 
into reality. It's okay to be different and celebrate your vibe, your 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 wild side. <laughs> so um, this is him, but his higher self gets a little wild, like this weed, out of maybe sometimes out of control, like my garden <laughs> or yard. <laughs> my yard is full of weeds right now. <laughs> it's winter. So he looks very fun, very playful, but the card itself is called the wild. Okay, so Spirit's message regarding that though was to embrace your wild side a little bit, like in, in, uh, be more playful in the essence, like a otter, go in nature, to celebrate your, your vibe that makes you unique, whether you're an otter or this creature or a Penelope Dreamweaver, to celebrate you especially with your transformation. So that's what I had with all that. <clears throat> you can see why I had to write it down because it was a lot coming through. Now that I'm too warm. Let me... Let me add these back so that back and we'll get your reading going. All right. So I'm just going to consider those probably, yeah, your energy to save time in the reading. I'll pull just a general energy for you. And I apologize if I sniffle. Obviously, I'm still sick. I seem to be holding on this, uh, partly because it's like the ascension flu. One for masculine, one for feminine. So that's what we got. Divine feminines you have. The guardians, the gate, your transformation, right? You're, you're going, it's a number three, uh, going through that next process, that transformational gate. Your divine masculines are Nick the Mayo Masters looking, <laughs> embracing their change as well, but perhaps a little more subtly, perhaps afraid to admit or see things as they are, perhaps afraid to see or listen to the spiritual message they are receiving. And divine feminine you are glowing, you are uh, shining your light beautifully, everything is ha happening. The spirit, the spiritual divine timing, spiritual timing, spiritual divine timing. Okay, spirit. Let's start to the feminine, to the Feminine, you're the strength, the lion. It's a number 10 card. That's a transformation card. The end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new, which is what the messages early were all about, right? Now that you've uh, gone through the cycle, that transformation, you're looking to the future and embracing the new light that you're shining, the new gifts, the downloads. This is all about your strength, but also about your personal growth, all right? Being calmer about it and accepting it and allowing people to see you for who you are and stand proudly. Also, for some reason, I just got the message again about growing your hair long. I have no idea why spirit cares if our hair is short or long, but if it comes through, I speak it. What can I tell you? Garden at the gate. Um, again, this also gives me the energy kind of like the peacock. You know now that you're shining your beauty from within. If anyone else has ever gotten the messages about the long hair, feel free to comment about it because I just find it strange. Four, two, six. Take a, and they have to take a step back and find masculines and see if what you're doing is the right action that you should be taking for divine growth for your transformation. Take a pause for a moment and say, you know, embrace the change. And move forward in that change. Move forward in the correct direction. Don't try to block yourself from the growth, from your prosperity that's going to be yours with this new change. <coughs> the lizard reminds me kind of of the chameleon in the sense that 
it does accept change. It changes rapidly with the environment. <coughs> so, um, instinctually, you're uh, sensitive, you're telepathic, you're being very artistic and creative at this time. You are noticing that you are changing. You are feeling the change within you. You may not want to admit it. You're trying to still act like, no, everything's the same. But no, you know, masculines, you know you're changing. You feel it, and everyone around you sees it, whether you want to admit it or not. For some reason, some are not wanting to admit it, I guess. Um, that was the energy I got from that, to get the message that everyone else sees the beautiful change in you, so shine your light. Okay, messages for the divine. Hang on. The Spirit corrected me. We're going to do a past, present, and future. Um, we're changing the messages. So we're going to do some past, present, and future um, for the collective, not necessarily gender related. Okay. Past for the collective. Recently, I have to move everything down from it. <clears throat> Where spirit wants it put. And then that just work out. Okay. Not that I doubted it. Okay, so in the near past. <clears throat> You were in the, either yourself or your partner was in the King of Cups, just tipping your both toes in the emotional part of this connection, filling your own cups with love and nurturing yourself, keeping in your mind your 5D about this divine connection, this very joyful childlike uh, connection that made you feel childlike, it made you feel uh, almost innocent and pure, that thinking of this connection. 
how divinely guided you felt that it was. Everything seemed to have synchronicities and matching that it was meant to be. And you stood or sat firm in that belief, watching things grow um, steadily at your, at, around you. Even though there were things unseen in the background happening, things amiss that you weren't sure of how this was going to play out, there may have been drama or some crabs around attacking this connection. But <clears throat> that, again, is in the past. Someone has been coming forward with the Ace of Swords. They're in, passionately in their truth and ready to come forward. Um, regardless of the cost, they are determined. Their old self, they want to put an end to the old way. They're embracing their new beginnings, their new transformed self, even if they're afraid to admit it, <laughs> Spirit says. But they are moving forward. And this is for both of you and your truth at this point. Being truthful with yourself, not necessarily with the partner, Spirit said. So if you, your partners, if you're expecting them to come forward in your, to you with truth, they, um, or apologies, remember that things of the past are in the past, and the truth will be for the future. The, the future is the truth. How things play out will be true. Once the transformation. It's like when you paint your car. It's no longer red. It's blue. So you don't can't put on the title or paperwork that it's red. It's blue. So don't worry about what color it used to be. Just move forward with blue. I don't know why we're comparing cars. But <clears throat> maybe we're supposed to paint our car. Ten of Cups is what you're both embracing you both filled your own cup with love now for yourself you're ready to celebrate with friends in the past you've admitted that this was your wish fulfillment this was your wish come true even if things stood between the two of you you still both individually filled your own cup knowing that that was your wish fulfillment and that you seek that calm waters that green pastures and you seek the celebration. This is a 10. It's again in the past. Empress. Um, both are in your emperor and empress energies. And holding, you both know that you each hold the key to your heart. You're holding true to this connection and the divine knowledge. The quantum physics behind it. You are listening to your spirit guides. You are hearing them. Even though some may be stubborn about it, again, keeps pointing to Mike the Mayor Master there, not wanting to see the fact that he's a chameleon or a lizard, that there is change, in other words. There is growth. He, both persons are blossoming. Things are going exactly as Spirit directs them, or it is planned. There in the past perhaps it was communication, but not truthful. But in the near past, the King of Wands, the energy of either party could have been player-like energy. Not sure if they wanted in or out, in or out. This was a very strong connection. We both know this, right? We all know that there's a very uh, high vibrational energy, but very deep connection that every time we got together or spoke or text, right, then there's always lessons to be learned from the energy that something would trigger, something would cause us to have to go within and heal our inner child regarding that situation so that we could heal and move forward with growth. And both parties, it wasn't just the divine feminines that were being triggered. Remember, we also triggered the masculines, and we had the benefit of the divine feminines of understanding what the connection was about. The one that woke first is the divine feminine. The one that woke first was the chaser, the one that understood the spiritual aspect of it, right? The runner was the mas divine masculine energy. Since we all encompass divine feminine and divine masculine energy in each of us, this is not about an actual male or female gender. 
spirits done, but both parties perhaps were in and out, not sure if they were going to be able to. One minute they wanted to deal with it, one minute they didn't want to deal with it. One minute they were okay with the third party, one minute they weren't. <clears throat> in the present, <laughs> sorry, Ooh. this uh, Four of Pentacles, stability, in the present, people are really watching. Some might even be considered greedy. They're trying to listen to their intuition and build their, uh, watch their four corners, their home front. They're trying to get some stability in this connection, um, but mostly about their pentacles, their, their earthly possessions, their money. They want them to grow. They feel like they're not good enough, perhaps, to offer to the other one. But remember, we both have to... Spirit brought us all probably near to rock bottom so that when we came together we were then financially abundant or abundant in all things Spirit saying See, together is unity with unity will bring abundance because you'll work on those to build things up together <coughs> the four pentacles you're both in your high priestess and hereford energies Doing the studying, looking things into things. You know the difference with the dark and the light. And you're not afraid to go and see the shadow side of self when it occurs. And um, add the light to illuminate it and heal it. And address it. Embrace it. It's okay for the, uh, you know, if someone was a drug addict and they are recovering a drug addict. Or they're recovering alcoholic or a gambler. That we happy or pleased with yourself for the work you've done that you are recovered that's in the past this is not the new you you will probably always have to struggle or remember to fight that but you're transformed and doesn't mean someone should be judgmental of that energy that was of your past because you are of the light now and you are healing your inner child, you are healing others now because we are here for a purpose. We're here to shine the light, to raise the vibration of others, of Mother Earth, to heal all living creatures. <coughs> and Queen of Pentacles, both parties are uh, sitting in their thrones. Probably we've all gone to our own quarters at this point, um, energetically for present moment in the sense that building our own pentacles reflecting on this right it's also the holiday time so that plays in there for some listening to your intuition being loyal to yourself being loyal to your journey each individually it um, has sole purposes and journeys while your counterpart will have <coughs> you both will end up on the same journey together they will entwine as one but each currently are <coughs> individually being loyal to your own journey working on your soul purpose your soul purpose and your mission and for those that are not there's growth there to see what your soul purpose is to <coughs> and to to get into mission three of pentacles see um <laughs> currently everybody's working on pentacles because we need that stability, right? We are of, on the earth, and the Spirit knows that so well. In the past, we've been doing all the spiritual work, doing all these soul work and inner work, and now it's time that we are doing some earthly pentacle work, building our pentacles, getting grounded together, but putting the work in um, so that we can build this together. Also studying and learning more about your connection and what it means to you, what it's meaning to the collective. Um, because like the pebble in the water, everything has that ripple effect throughout the entire collective. We are all connected. And you remember with crystals, the plants, with ourselves, but especially as uh, the, the divine couples are connected together in this collective. So we affect one another and hopefully for the better, right? Showing each other to listen to the intuition, the quantum physics behind the connection, the tree of life, and presently there will be communication coming 
Uh, Eight of Wands is about communication coming in. So presently there will be communication coming um, between you. This could be both ways, but definitely with your higher self to communicate. And you're communicating with spirit. communicate with your higher self, to communicate with spirit and your spirit guides presently, in the present moment. To allow the communication to flow naturally. <clears throat> Also, telepathic communication that is uh, occurring in the 5D or telepathically communication, but also communication through your dreams and through the 5D. All right. So in the near future, that communication is going to include something along the lines of this cup of love, the offer of the two together, facing each other face to face, offering that cup of love while the masculine's may be uh, nervous of this tidal wave of emotions. They're coming to the understanding that it is a lot to handle, but that, that it's where their heart is, where they're, they're embracing this emotional, and they want to make the offer of their Ace of Cups, their new beginning with the Divine Feminine. <clears throat> they want to communicate that they've been healing, that they understand you've been healing them, that you've taught them, you've led the way for them to know that they need to go within and heal themselves and nurture themselves and ignore the karmic regardless of the placement of them, regardless of the devil energy around them, the toxicity around them. They are going within now and healing and changing and they are seeing that change. Again, Spirit is wanting me to point to the Meyer Master and realize that he might not be admitting to others that he sees that change, but he, he knows that even if he doesn't admit it. Even if he doesn't admit that it makes him feel childlike, innocent, like emotional, um, that it is there. <coughs> In the near future, this forward movement, Six of Swords, um, will be in your journey, but together. The forward movement to calm waters will be divinely guided because they're listening to their higher self and their spirits, um, and they might not see where they're going yet, but they know that they need to make this move because they've heard the messages as well from spirit that this is an end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And 21 is it breaks to a 3 also. <clears throat> Moving movement forward in the emotions, in the stability, being grounded in this connection together. <clears throat> Two of cups, nurturing one another and not so long anymore, not needing to just go within and you'll always want to still uh, not have that codependency of having to have the other person pay attention to you and nurture you because you are enough for yourself to love yourself, to nurture yourself, but able to have enough after you're loving yourself to love someone else. close to the mic, sorry. 
Turn a little bit back. How awesome is that, right? <laughs> Synchronicity. There's no coincidence. <laughs> Ten of cups. As they throw them on the floor. I don't know. I'm hearing that I don't need it. Cups is clarified. <clears throat> Things moving forward. Putting an end to the Five of Wands, the fighting, the battles that uh, have occurred during the connection. Watching to make the offer with the Page of Pentacles. This is in the past. Well, that's what they were working towards. They wanted the chariot to move forward and for 
the divine feminines, perhaps they did move forward. They set their boundaries regarding those battles and move forward, supplying or supplying, working on their own pentacles. <coughs> regarding the truth, the King of Cups, no, King of Swords, sitting in his throne, but prior to that was not in his truth, wasn't seeing things the that they had to make that decision and they were more worried about the things that they lost than what they had in front of them from divine but they did go within and nurture themselves they went within in, in hermit mode regarding this connection the science they've looked at the light and things were illuminated regarding the equal that they were not equal give and take they were not balanced but that that's what they want for the future That Ten of Cups, you both filled your cups numbers separately, even if there were things standing between you, family, friends, and, <laughs> okay, for whatever reason, enemies came up, maybe karmic. Um, so the Divine Feminine did have to move forward um, on her own because the choices, three of wands, were not being made, and she was not going to be an option. But finally, the Masculine in the near present or past has made the choice even if they haven't actually voiced it as of yet <clears throat> but in their mind they knew the one they wanted the uh, regarding the empress card or hierophant king of pentacles building the pentacles for that stable foundation in the future regarding um, options and taking a look at the things in the ways uh, that they the choices they made I'm hearing this is a more about the choices they made okay and what they wanted was ten of pentacles with you they have turned their back now to the karmic or the other entities involved in the situation this is uh, the knight of wands energy both parties and perhaps were in and out of situations but the tower came in in the near past probably many if you were <laughs> if we can't laugh about it now then we're in trouble right but nine of wands the divine feminine had to turn her back to the wands the, the things that stood between her and the door of the future she turned her back to that and found her own path moving forward and healed herself the queen of cups nurtured herself and so did the masculine as we see oh, back with that. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Just got a stabbing pain like somebody stabbed my arm. That was just weird. All right, Four of Pentacles about the growth, right? Someone was being greedy. They were, they were being very greedy. Four of Coins, Four of Drums. They thought that their material possessions was identified them as how they identified them. No. Who they what were? Is who they were? It was what they thought that's what made them who they were. Okay. But it was a faulty foundation, a faulty belief. <clears throat> They've gone within the mama bear uh, protecting the baby bear and going within and healing themselves. They now see that they the microphone drives me crazy that they have received many gifts from spirit they know now that they have the intuition the gifts of manifesting and um, many other healing energies upon them and that they see that they're not supposed to hold on to these gifts that they need to share them with others to shine their light brightly as divinely guided this is present this is you uh, masculines and feminines looking into those gifts and saying yes I need to teach others as the high priestess I need to go start a YouTube channel or other businesses that are helping others on their journey to shine their light and see their gifts it might be a struggle it may feel like a huge animal you're undertaking but others will hold the torch for you and we're here for you as a collective we see the change that's occurred with the five of swords we see the change in you we all see the light that shines one another the queen of pentacles 
So in the present moment, regarding our pentacles, there is a tower moment that's occurring. This tower moment might <coughs> could be good or bad. It might be that final tower before we take the one more through that next gate, through the next transformation to finish things off. Maybe it's the tower moment that says we need to cut that last thing off that doesn't serve us. The dark entities, again, before we go through 20 into 2020, we do need to cut off things that don't serve us. The low vibration things, we need to only surround ourselves with the highest vibrations and those of like mind in the sense to shine a light, to shine your gifts, to heal the Mother Earth. Father Sky, Spirit is guiding you on this. Even if you think you're not strong enough, Spirit is there to help you. You have transformed with the Four of Wands. You are glowing. You are shining bright amongst the other earthlings that I always call zombies that have not been awakened. All right, let's see if I get this. The Three of Pentacles putting some work into this intuition, doing the studying regarding quantum physics, regarding the tree of life, etc. Knowing that you need to walk away, the near ending, again, after that tower, you're going to put an end to that devil energy once and for all. And again, people are watching this transformation take place, watching you transform from a devil energy toxicity into the king of cups. Someone who um, people look up to, that you shine the light for them to guide them that you are emotionally intelligent and are moving carefully um not slowly but precisely you're moving forward precisely with emotional intelligence with precise movement here communications card here in the present was some of it was regarding the toxicity of one another. You're going to be getting together. But they need to explain they felt trapped. They didn't know that the spirit was there to help them out of this mess. Regarding their devil energy and the toxic soulmate or the karmic that was there like a vulture pulling at their skin like meat from a bone. That was a little bit in there, spirit. <clears throat> Just saying. Hey, the future. That's exciting, right? Looking forward to the future. Looking forward to those pentacles coming in. The growth. Earthly stability as well as stability in our spiritual realm. Ace of Cups. There's clarify. Ace of Cups for the future. What do they have to look forward to in the future? Sorry, I'm going to put the microphone behind me again. Wow, how beautiful. A page of cups for the masculine, nurturing themselves, ignoring the current energy, letting come forward together.
and two of cups. Clarify two, two of cups for the near future. Clarify two of cups for the near future. second video if I don't get all this out in time. So Ace of Cups, you have the Sun card, the best card in the deck. Everything's going to be amazing. It's a 10 card. You're off to a new beginning, a new start. This near future, you will have victory in all things, abundance in all things, and your journey has only begun. This amazing journey has only begun. Page of Swords. You're going to have the Happy family. There is no more mourning over things that are lost. The things you had to cut out and leave behind. The toxicity. Don't mourn it because it was all meant to be. It's all a process for your highest good. It's also a three card. Warrior of Blades. If you fall off the horse, get back on. Right? You need to be victor a victorious warrior. And while you may feel like you've uh, fallen with off your horse, it's time to climb back on Spirit Set and move forward. And this is going to end in about two minutes, so I'm probably going to have to make another video. Uh, journey is clarifying this, that yes, you will journey together with honor towards your vision quest together. <clears throat> the world card. There will be no, there's an ending to the mockery, a 10 card, and it's an ending of the mockery. People will no longer laugh because you are shining your light brightly. You are going to be very successful at everything you create. You have the star card. <clears throat> the two of cups here. Yes, I am trying to hurry through so that we don't have to. But trail of, trail of tears. Yes, you have had many tears on this journey, but... Every one of them has given you lessons and is well worth it. The wish card, everything you wish for is here now. Moving forward together, you will be the chief. You will play, dance to the beat of your own drum and play the music. Eight of Wands, you will have many choices and you will shine bright out of any cloud. The Ace of Cups here, that new beginning and love together. Forward movement on your journey together, Spirit saying that that Two of Cups. <clears throat> Okay, so if this ends abruptly, thank you. Email me for personal readings, and I won't start another video if it ends abruptly because we're almost done. The Nine of Coins, you're going to be abundant in everything you do, and you will do it together, shining brightly. As a Knight of Coins, again, working together playfully, remember to be playful. And Knight of Wands, that fiery passion will be reignited, Spirit said. It's going to be reignited for one another when you come together again in your journey. <clears throat> Wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, forgiveness and the resolution of a problem, don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Remember, they're going to come to you soon, and they're going to come to you a new person. And just as we have transformed into our soul rebirth, a new person, and shining our light brightly, so have the divine masculine. So remember, they are not the person of the old. They're not the red car. They're the blue car. So <laughs> don't worry about 
what they used to be. All right. This is what the message I have for you. So I hope you have a terrific day. Namaste.